are in charge of that. Well, that's where we have sent our very own Hannah Getz, who is uh, at the Kanawha County Emergency Operations Center. Hannah, tell us what, uh, what the plan is for the rest of the day. Brian, good morning. So like you were saying, with all of uh, the storms last night, the high winds, the rain causes those power outages. I'm here with Mike Oakley from Kanawha County Emergency Management. Again, we're at the EOC. So the issue here today is that it's the power outages, but the polling, it's election day. It is election day, and we're so happy to be up this early in the morning. <laughs> um, as you're aware, we did some pre-planning yesterday. We uh, strategically placed some generators throughout the county. Should we have some wind problems? Um, this kind of came up, and I hate to use the pun radar, but it came up on our radar Around last Friday, we started getting some stuff from the weather service that indicated we might have some winds and rains last night. So we went ahead and strategically placed these uh, generators. At this point in time, there's about 2,200, according to AEP, about 2,200 customers um, in the county that do not have power. We've come in and we've pulled a list of polling places, mm -hmm. cross-referencing those. At this point, we found three or four that are in the city of Charleston. Mm -hmm. But we're working with Ch uh, Charleston's emergency management folks because they're in the room here at the EOC with us. Um, and they're going to be sending some fire trucks, some fire engines to those polling places with generators that will at least put up some lighting. Now, one of the things that with the new equipment that we're all trying to help this year, um, they, they have a battery backup built in. So they'll run for five or six hours without power. So... Um, We've contacted AEP. We're still waiting on a return call from them to give us some kind of estimation of when they're going to be able to bring these pockets of power back up. So, But the important thing is, is that you guys have feelers out. You've been prepared for this for a few days now, and you have backups upon backups. So there shouldn't be any issues this morning. People can get out and vote, and you should get out and vote. So thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We're going to keep an eye on things all morning long. Reporting live in Kanawha County, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you.